Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com. You know, all the cars that we do in our videos, or most of our cars that you've seen, have perfect paint. I mean, they're from the factory, they're new, they're a couple years old. Everything you've seen us do up to this point has had really good condition paint. I got a car here today. It's a Honda Civic, and it is not in very good shape. The paint and the clear coat are completely beat. Um, I'm going to walk you around the car and show you. It's got holes in it. The clear coat's completely faded, the paint is faded, it, it just looks terrible. So we're going to bring this car completely back to life from the ground up using Plastidiv. So it's red, it's a faded red Honda Civic right now. We're going to do a couple gunmetal gray base coats, then we're going to do a couple uh, coats of aluminum true metallic, finish that off with a couple of coats of silver metalizer. Should be a really fun project, I'll take you through the whole thing. So if you have a car whose paint is in not very good condition and want to bring it back to life, this is the process for you. It's Fonzie, enjoy the video. All right, guys, here she is. She's a, she's a beauty, isn't she? Uh, it's a Honda Civic with just about almost every paint flaw that you can possibly have on an older car. It's got chipped and broken paint. It's got faded paint. The clear coat is coming off. Uh, we even have a couple nice big rust holes. It's got uh, basically every flaw that you can have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around the car, show you a close-up of what we're dealing with, and then I'll take you through some of the prep processes. Um, now, one thing I wanted to show you, because I know we're going to get a lot of questions about this, which is, well, if you got a, a car whose paint is in bad condition and the clear coat could be coming off, you're going to dip it, but what happens when you remove it? Now, every single car in every single scenario is unique, but this is an example, and I'll show you what the example is. If you see this line right here on the top of the hood that goes across, what we did about five months ago is we put four layers of clear plastic dip on the hood of the car. We wanted to see what would happen Worst case scenario, we left it on there, we left it baking on there for a long time. In the Florida sun, we peeled it off. We didn't know if the clear coat was going to come off with it, the paint was going to come off with it. What it did is the paint and everything is still in, in good condition, obviously, but what it looks like it did is it maybe cleaned off some of the flaking or some of the powdering clear coat on there, and the paint underneath here actually looks quite a bit better than the paint above. Not saying that this is going to happen in every scenario. This is one scenario. We wanted to see what would happen if you left Plastic Dip on for a while and peeled it off on this particular car in this particular condition. And this is what happened in this case. So let me show you the rest of the car. All right, for the hood, you can see it's actually very faded, very scratched. The hood is in terrible condition. all the way down. This is that line that I told you about where we had four coats of Plasti Dip on the car, left it on for four months, four and a half months, and then peeled it off. So as you can see, it, it, the paint and everything is still there and still intact, but what it did is it kind of lifted a lot of that powdery residue left over from the clear coat. So we've got a nice big fat rust hole right there. Got some areas that were attempted to be touched up with touch-up paint. Front bumper, got some chipping paint right there. Up near the doors, near the window trim, paint is completely gone. The roof is also a nightmare. Paint gone, clear coat gone. Got the trunk lid here. Again, almost no red left at all. Guys, one of the most important pieces to this process is gonna be making sure this car is completely clean. Any of the powdered residue from the clear coat, anything that's on the car, dirt, debris, anything, has gotta be cleaned off so that the plastic is not only gonna bond well, but have a nice smooth surface as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip foam system the entire car and then we're going to scrub the foam in and then we're going to rinse it off really well with a power washer to make sure it's as clean as can be.
All right, guys, we've got two coats of the gunmetal gray on the car right now. Now, remember when I pointed out this giant hole um, in the hood here. Now, it's a rust hole that goes all the way through, and we're going to do our best to kind of repair this. And, and again, we are not a body shop by any means. So there are going to be people who see this, and they're going to think, well, you could have sanded this down. You could have put Bondo over it. There's a whole uh, bunch of professional ways that you can get this done. But we're not a body shop, and... We do do-it-yourself videos, so we assume that the majority of people that are going to see this video and that are going to do this project are not body shops either. So we're going to just repair this in the way um, that the dip is going to look the best without doing anything permanent or anything professional to it. So we have the rust hole here, and what I have is a little square of 3M vinyl. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the 3M vinyl to just about the shape of the hole with a little bit of an overlap. And again, this is going over the two coats of gunmetal gray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 3M vinyl and I'm just going to apply it right over the hole. I'm going to press it down nice and firm. And then I'm going to get a heat gun, or if you have a, a hair dryer, that'll work too. And I'm just going to hit the vinyl with the heat gun. And what that's going to do is make it really, really soft and make it stick really well and just kind of sit flush onto the hood. Now, there's going to be bumps here. And yes, you're probably gonna see that through the dip. So if you wanna do something more permanent, if you wanna do something more professional, you can sand it down, you can use some type of filler, you know, do some research as far as body work. But again, we're not a, a, a body shop, so I don't wanna instruct you on how to do body work. We're doing an aluminum uh, car with some silver metalizer over it, so it's gonna be a very um, disruptive and busy finish. If I was doing flat black or something, you're going to see this a lot more. But with the finish that we're going to do, it'll probably be hidden pretty well. So that's the fix we're going to use right now for the hole on the hood. Guys, this is the finished product with the Civic. Now, obviously we had that red faded paint on it, the clear coat, the paint was all faded away. We brought it to a nice stock looking silver or aluminum. Now, we could have done a simpler uh, refresh on the paint job. We could have just taken the red and refreshed it with some new red or maybe some satin red, but we wanted to do something a little bit more complex, a little bit more complicated. And to be honest, the last video that we did, that copper metallic GTI where we used the gold metalizer in the gallons, we had so much fun with the transformation on that car and seeing the metallic effect we wanted to bring the silver metalizer in on this video as well. Now, you saw this car had big rust holes and some pieces in it that it really needed some body work. Now, what we did is we just showed you how to prep the car, how to clean the car, and how to dip the car. There are, is some body work that could be done to this car as far as those rust holes and stuff, but right now we just used some uh, vinyl to cover those up so we can uh, dip flat over it. You could have gone the sanding route or using some filler, Bondo, things like that. The reality is, is we're a dipping company. The purpose of this video was to show you how to dip the car and refresh the paint job yourself. 
If we went into sanding, bondo, things like that, that's really not our area of expertise. There are plenty of other videos on YouTube to show you how to do that if you wanted to go that route. What we do is we stick to what we're good at. We showed you the dipping portion. So this is a brand new refreshing paint job that you can do by yourself. It's very affordable. Everything you saw us use today from the gum metal gray, the different colors, the true metallics, and even the silver metalizer and top coats, it's all available for you at dipyourcar.com. If this is a project that you wanna take on and you have any questions at all, email customer service at dipyourcar.com, or if it's during business hours, feel free to go on and give us a call. We'll walk you through the project, answer any questions that you may have. If you want, hit me directly on Twitter. I talk to you guys, I love talking to you guys and having conversations one-on-one -on -one about the dipping industry and all sorts of different stuff. That's picking up like crazy and I'm having a blast with it. It's Fonzie, I'm gonna let the camera go around so you can see the, see the car. It's a completely different refreshed look on this car. We're super happy with the, with the way it came out and so is the owner. I'll see you in the next video.